So here is the, the pagination query. You see that's exactly the same. The, you pass the interface and the, you, here is the one of the method, Java method implementation. You pass the paginations, you build the pagination. This is the zero, uh, page number zero, and then you size of the record for this page 10, and this you can parameterize. I will show you later when when I did the developments for the for the soon as I, I copied it like from the from the internet one example too. So you have a domain note here, page, and then you put it here, the pagination object, and then it should automatically give every page. Uh, first page has a 10 record, second page has uh, uh, second page has a 10 record and so on and so forth. And even though you can set it this parameter, how much it doesn't matter from which page you take how many page, how many how many entries you try to sew so into the each pages that depending on that so even though in the pagination you can pass like pagination and the request uh, uh, page request of so first page and the 10 number record you can sort by with the specific type and even though you can set it like ascending and descending order so this automatically works with ascending and descending. This messaging, descending order, depending um, if you are second, depending on the each page, ascending, ascending, descending work based on the your each page. That means you have a first page and it should be ascending or descending order, depending what you would like to do, uh, depending the combination of with the parameter control with these two parameters. So this is most one of the most important uh, issues that I need to discuss uh, with you. So you see that the queries, there is a, there is a, the, exactly the same queries that we have in the previously. There is a two parameter. So it is the index based parameter. So special will pass the method parameter into the query in the same order they they appear in the method declaration. So that means it it is, will be the same order. If you put it like status is here, the second position. But type is past position, it doesn't work. It's parameter. That's why it says it's exactly the same order that you need because this is the index based query parameter, query parameters. So index, this is called index one and this is called index two. So here is the first one is the status and the second one is type. This is the call index based in best based JPA JPQL query parameters. So if you if you if you don't pass the this oh no see the, the index page J, jpql and this is the native query so it's exactly the same but only difference between the native and the jpql this is here only the native query so the you have the advantage and disadvantage so the, when you are trying to index based queries parameter to pass into the your interface your repository then you need to be be careful where exactly which position you have the which parameter which input parameter you need to set so if you disorder it or if you change it it doesn't work because it is the index based because automatically when the query executor knows well oh, i am the status is the one position type is second position maybe 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 a location is the third position if you recombine it to change it somewhere then it doesn't work but the, that's that's the problem we need to re, we can re, uh, recover it with the parameters like name parameter query you see the name parameter query for this with params annotations so now it doesn't matter where you put it like if you put it like uh, status uh, here the first parameter uh, status is second parameter and uh, type is parameter it doesn't follow nothing so even though you can put it like this way then for native queries for the for the naming the name parameter if you index it that means it need to be positioned like that position there is no alternative if you name parameter that means you named it like this status like this one and this types and then that works automatically with name parameters and this is the collections you can set up the input parameters with not of SQL cases I need we need an in parameter like we can pass the list of uh, list of types or list of something list of locations or list of postal address list of this those things you can do with the in parameter in causes in 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 in, in cause where clause in 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 case so you see the in and this have I am looking for the types and then there's a types and we pass it this type as a as a string as a collection of strings and a parameter like stripes so they're exactly the same name and then this it works automatically in native case and nothing special that's normally changed it in the in the native query 
So here, how to modify your queries? It's only the modify annotations and then query annotation update. The you here is an example from the user, and we set it the user as a, as a, an alias for for this domain, and you pass it like you change it the updates, the status, and the name of the of the user, and then you pass it like the status as a query parameter and then your names is a query parameters and do you modify your record for 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 complex cases or some cases if you need some record to modify for very special case i will suggest you to go this approach to modify something or or if you don't need to very special case to modify some records or some information some part of information if you do need it, then you can do the simple CUDA operation for the JPA repository or CRUDE repository. It's very simple. But but for the for the any enterprise application, I believe because I have experience like 10 years, I did it like that way. Uh, many cases and the the default the, or, or 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 default or or CRUDE or JPA repository doesn't fit your requirements or enterprise application. You need a lot of cases. You have a need a really complex queries, and even though many cases you need to modify some specific informations, and not the complete record to modify it, but uh, to update it or, or edit it. But some cases, many cases, I need only one or two fields or two attributes, and that that approach you need to think about this one. This is the best approach to really specify to modify the specific attribute or two or more attribute not the complete object and the complete ent entities or attributes and this that's why i said this is the many enterprise application any i think any enterprise application need those complex queries no this specific modification for a specific field or attributes or or, or, or one or more attributes to modify so this is the this is the JPAQL approach and this is the native approach. You can go this the two approach. And modify queries. Uh, here is, is an example that users that is a uh, one modify the query. I pass the values and then then you pass the name, age, email, and status and pass the values and then and then you parameter it like this way: params, name, age, status, and then email address and that's on so on so forth. But it is, it is. I say this is the the complete models modifications or update. But if, for for this case, I say uh, use the default crude repository or, or, or JPA repository. It works really brilliantly or, or flexible way. But for this case, if you need really modify only one or two part, maybe you need to modify some status information or maybe modify email address. Then I I will suggest you to come up to go this this approach to modify some some sort some 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 subset of informations. So here is one of the repository example with the oh, with the, what I mean here is you see the the customer repository custom repository with JPA Kiteri APIs uh, you can do here. So I define your repository and then I define what I buy email address and set the list of email address and I define the my my entity manager but Kiteri APIs uh, JPA Kiteri APIs not the real. Uh, with the we're not uh, query annotations or JPA or J Java J J Spring Data JPA uh, approach, but you have all the possibility because I, that's I say that I have experience like that where many cases we combine a lot of technologies concept approach when is fitted together best solutions. So a lot of cases I use the entity manager, I use the criteria queries, and I use a lot of cases the query simply query annotation, modify annotations, and those things. Even though many cases our monolithic application, our our older application that was implemented by 20 years or 30 years old application, it is it is still the JDBC connections, and then that's that's thing. And if you are in the in the if the company are or your client is interested to migrate your monolithic application to the microservice based application, even though you can take over those approaches, the, the, the concept like JPA, ORM, and Spring Data JPA, and it's brilliant solutions. This is the world is running all the developer using those technologies into their the real development or real enterprise application world. You see that one of the examples like how the Kyptir API integrate those 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 queries or to those repositories.